Hello everybody, today we're going to be making the Arugami Bumblebee. Um, it's very easy, super, super beginner friendly, but um, here's what you're going to need is, I'm using some Burnout Blankie. It is super chunky. Um, it says to use an 8mm hook, but I am using an 11.5 just because that's what I'm comfortable with. Um, you're going to need the colors you want your bee. So I'm going to be making um, teal and light pink. And then you're going to need some white for the wings. And uh, you don't need this much black, but um, just a little bit for the smile of the bee on the face. And then on the face as well, you're going to need some safety eyes. These are 15 millimeter. You're going to need this little um, needle thingy. Again, this is very low budget video, uh, very beginner friendly. I don't know the specific term of this little needle guy, but um, that is what it is. You're going to need a pair of scissors to change the colors with and for the smile. And you're going to need um, a stitch holder. Now you don't actually need one of these. Um, before I knew what these were, I was using a bobby pin. So, but you need something to just make sure that you're getting back around to the very beginning of the circle. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. So just um, your needle, your scissors, your safety eyes, some stitch holders, the hook, and then the yarn. Like I said, this is a very low budget video and it's very, very beginner friendly. Um, I'm technically a beginner, so it's pretty easy for me, so hopefully you can follow along and start making bees. Let's get started. Okay, so like I said, this is very, very low budget, so my phone is actually sitting on a bunch of books right now. But, um, so you're going to start with the color that you want the bee. And we're going to make a magic circle, and it's okay if you don't know how to do this, I'm going to go a little slow. So you're going to hold the, the yarn like this, and you're going to wrap it around and then twice, but cross it over like that. Then you're gonna go under the first one, pull a little bit through and twist it around. So let me do that again. Hold it, cross it, go under, Pull over and twist a circle and then you're going to grab a little bit of yarn. Sometimes it's a little tricky for me with this bigger yarn so and uh, there we go. And then just tighten it up, situate yourself a little bit. Don't worry about the tail because you know it's just we'll get to that later. And then once you've gotten this far we are going to go ahead and make 12 single crochet stitches into the magic circle. So that's one. I'm going to go two. And sorry, I'm using my fingers because I'm not used to the chunky yarn. I usually use like the regular, whatever's like cheapest at Walmart. Um, three. Four. Oh. Was that three or four? One, two, three, four. I don't know, I've got five. And then six. So you can see well, you can kind of see. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to go back into the first one. And do two single crochet stitches. So that's one into the first one. And then go back into that very first one and do two, 
And now you're going to find the first one you made. And you're going to put the little stitch holder in there. If I can get it. Okay. Now I'm going to close up the circle. Oh. Just uh, pull the tail. And then you're going to keep going and put two in every single original um, single crochet. So this will be one. And then the very same one, you're going to do two. And then you go to the next one and do one. And the same one, two. And then do another one and two and then the next one one two and then this is the very last one so we're going to do one and two and now we are back at the beginning so there should be hold on let me show you um, I'm just doing this so that I can count them out with you and uh, show you a little bit okay so there's one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that last one, twelve. So you should have twelve now. So we just made a magic circle of six and then increased it to twelve. So next we are not going to increase, we're not going to put two single crochets in every single stitch. Next we're going to do a single crochet, two single crochets, single crochet, two single crochets, and so forth. So I'm not really good at math, I don't know how many you're going to have at the end. We will count them together. So just give me one second to readjust. Oh, my dog is actually trying to get something, I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I realized looking back um, that I might not be being very clear about where you're putting the hook. So um, we're going to go ahead and count these again. Uh, hold on one second. So this, this is your stitch right here where this thing is holding. And that's where you're going to put the loop or the, the hook inside of those two, like that. Um, so now we should have 12. And like I said um, before, we're gonna go single crochet, two single crochets, single, two singles, single, two single, and so forth. Now, since this is a beginner-friendly video, I'm not gonna do that really annoying thing where everyone's like, oh, I'm gonna fast forward through the whole thing. Um, when we're making the rows for the B, I will um, do a couple and then let you catch up. Um, you can pause the video or whatever, because um, it, it'll really just be a single crochet and everything. So you can start by taking the stitch holder out and do one single crochet. So one, and then make sure you put your stitch holder back in so you know where you started. And then in the next one right here, we're gonna do 
two. So one, two, and this is basically just making it um, larger, you know, like um, like the front of the bee. All right, and then the next one we're gonna do one. The next one, two. One, two. And then the next one, we're gonna do one. One, the next one, two, one, two, the next one is one. Now, if I am remembering right, I think there's going to be 18 at the end of this row. That's one, two. And then one. And then one, two, next one is a one, and then the last one, um, so a good way to keep count on how you're doing is the very last stitch is always going to be the, the two single crochets. So if you are ending on one single crochet, you um, might have miscounted or um, had a little hiccup somewhere. So here's our last two. One, and the same one, two. Okay, so I'm gonna put the stitch holder in and we're gonna count and there should be uh, something like 18 or something. Like I said, I'm not very good at math, which is probably bad um, for a crocheter. But here we'll have our first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and this last one, eighteen. So um not that I'm not super confident, but um, we are good. So this next row, <clears throat> we're gonna do single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets. So instead of doing skipping one, doing one single, two singles, one single, two single, we're gonna do one single, one single, two single, one single, one single, two single, one single, one single, two single, all the way around. Um, I think. Oh man, I think we might have 24. Um, I'd, like, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll figure it out. But here we go. So going into that first stitch, we're gonna do one single crochet. And then we're gonna put our holder back there. So that is where we started. And then we're gonna do another single crochet And then on the next one, we're going to do two single crochets. And this is called increasing. I think I might have mentioned that already. I feel like I really should have wrote a script or something to follow along with. But um, yeah, like I said, low budget. So the next one's going to be one single. The next one's going to be another one single crochet. And the next one is going to be two. So one, 
the same one, two. And then in the next one is going to be one single crochet, one. And the next one, another one single crochet. And the next one we're doing two, so one and two. And then the next one we're doing single crochet, one single. The next one we're going to do another one single crochet. And then the next one we are going to do two. So one, two, and the next one we're going to do a single, a single. The next one is going to be two single crochets, so one, it's one, the same one, two. And we're going to do a single crochet again, one single crochet, and one single crochet. Then we're going to uh, do two, so one, and then the same one. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I thought I pulled out enough yarn to finish this, but um, just barely pulled out enough yarn. So let's count how many we have, and then I'm going to take a quick break and come right back. Which, I mean, I guess won't be a quick break for you. It'll just be, like, the transition. But, um, okay, so let's count. Um, I think I said we were going to have 24, I think. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, and the last one here is four so I was right 24 and in the next row we're gonna do single crochet single crochet single crochet two single crochets so we're doing three single crochets and then two single crochets and then we're gonna keep going like that and then we'll have one more increase row and then the regular rows I guess you could call them um yeah Okay, so we are back in action. We're gonna start right where we left off like five seconds ago. So this time we just did two single crochets and then two, like two, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. So now we're gonna do one, 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 two. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. Um, Bad at math. I don't know how many we're going to have after this, but we'll count. So let's get started. So we're going to go back into that first one. We're going to do a single crochet and then put your stitch marker or bobby pin or whatever you want to use right now back into that first one. We're going to do another single Okay, and then another single. So that was three single crochets, one, two, three, and then the next one we're going to do two. So one, two, and then a single. Another single, and a third single. Oh my gosh, 
sorry. <laughs> and then in the next one, we're going to do two. So one and two. And then do a single. Another one single. And then a third one single. And then we're going to do two singles. So one. And the same one. Two. And then we're going to do th one. One, a third one, and then two, one, two, oh wait, was that one? <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I don't remember, so you know what? Okay. No, I think we're good. I think that was two. Um, we'll find out if I screwed up. And it's okay if you screw up. Like I said, this is very low budget, very beginner friendly. So if you mess up, that's totally fine. Um, actually, my grandma says that... Um, it's okay if you mess up on something because that's how you can tell that it was handmade. So this is our third. And then also if you ever mess up, you can just go to the very end and you're supposed to have two here. So that would mean single, 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 double. So I do two. Yeah, I probably messed this up, but you know what? That's totally fine. And if you mess up once, um, you're not always going to end up on two at the end, which is, like I said, totally fine. I have a feeling I totally messed it up. We're going to find out, because if it's not divisible by six at the end, when we count all of them, then that basically means I screwed up. But shout out to my grandma, who actually got me into crocheting. So, uh, I should have been counting that whole time. I'm so sorry. But this is the last one, so we're going to do two in it anyway. One. And the same one. Two. Alright, so let's count. And um, I I'd put money on me screwing up. I think I've made... A lot of bees and I think I've screwed them all up so um so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty I'll do my math later, but that seems okay. <clears throat> so this is the very last row of increasing. So now we're going to do one single, one single, one single, one single, two singles. So we're going to go four with one single crochet. And then on that last one, that fifth one, we're going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. And like I said, then we will be done with increasing. Now I know um, Arugami has a written pattern and I don't think that I follow it exactly the same way just because I don't like switching colors that much because um, I'm like, like I said, I'm a beginner too so switching colors is not exactly my strong point. So we're going to go into that first stitch. I'm going to make one single. I'm going to put our stitch marker, where'd it go? Back into that first one. So that was one single. I'm going to do two single. 
three, one single crochet, four, one single crochet, then this next one we're going to do two. So we have one, two, three, four. We're going to do two single crochets into this next one. So one, two, and I think at the end of this one we should have 36. So I'm going to do another single, one, two, three, and this will be four. Um, let me get some more yarn here before I run out again. Okay, so this next one we're going to do two. One, and then the very same one. Two, I'm going to do single crochet, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to do two single crochets in the next one. So one, and the same one, two, we're going to do one, one, so that's two, one, and three, one, and four, and then two in the next one. So one, and the same one, two. I'm going to do one, one and two, one and three, one and four. Get more yarn. Okay, so two in the next one. One and two in the very same one. I'm going to do one in the first one, one in the next one. One and the third one. One and the fourth one. And you should be on the very last stitch, and we are. So we're going to do one. And the same one. Two. Okay. Moment of truth. There should be 36. Um, it's okay if it looks like an octagon, it's just because we're increasing on basically the very same stitch. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six so despite my poor confidence we are right on track so this is as big as the face of the bee is going to get um if you want to pull your tail a little more so it's a little tighter in the circle that we made in the beginning that's fine um so we're just gonna actually pull this through just so that the tail is on the inside. Okay, so now that we're done increasing, I am going to do two rows of one single crochet in every single stitch. Um, this is where 
a lot of the YouTubers that I followed um, just kind of like left me there to guess to me. So we're going to do this part together. And then after these two rows are done, we are going to be adding on the eyes and then the um, smile of the bee. So <clears throat> well, let's get rolling. Like I said, we're going to do two rows of one single crochet in every stitch. Um, I'm just going to count like one, two, three, four. So just so you know, we're still doing the same single crochet in every single stitch though. So we're gonna go into our first stitch and do one. And then put your stitch holder back in to that very first stitch. So that'll be one. Two. three, four, five, um, oof, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, okay, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oh, oh my gosh, 21, 22, oh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, And then 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and the last one, 36. Now, the ends are going to kind of curl up. That's just because we're no longer increasing. We are just um, making it go this way. So we're going to do uh, one more row of just single crochets. Um, another 36 of them. So let's take that out. Go in your first stitch. This will be one. Put it back in. Two. Three. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Fourteen. Um, I need more yarn, so we're at fourteen. Hold on one second. Okay. So this will be fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, oof, 32, 33, 34, 35, and the last one. 36. Okay. Now you're going to want another press, put, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're going to want to put another stitch marker in the very end because now that we have um, kind of like the base of the B, we are going to make the face next. So I'm going to get ready for that. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back. So you're going to want to get your safety eyes ready. Um, I think they go this way. Oh gosh, no, for sure, they go this way, like that. Um, mine are just black eyes. Um, it looks like that because of the light that I have over here. But um, So where you put the stitch markers in, that's gonna be the bottom of your face. So, so I'm working, I'm, I'm sitting over here on this, this way. Um, so you're going to want to like look in the middle and just kind of wherever you want to put the eyes really. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, got to put the eyes exactly over here or whatever. But you know what? We are beginners. And that is what we do as beginners. We do whatever we want and we just see what works out for us. So I think that looks pretty darn good right there. The eyes, how they are. Um, maybe I want to put it a little um, higher. But you do want to just give it a look-see-loo because uh, you don't want it to look, like, goofy. Um, but you know what? I think that looks fantastic. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, call, it, call it a day here. Um, so you're just going to want to snap. Um, I'm going to be really quiet so maybe you can hear it snap. And then if it's for a kid or something, I would snap it twice. But it's just... 
gonna sit on my shelf for a really long time until someone says hey make me a bee and I'm just gonna give them this bee um, I might send it to my grandma because I know she really loves my bees and I sent her the very first bee I ever made which was kind of goofy looking so maybe I'll send her a really nice one but um who knows grandma I know she's gonna be the first person to watch this video so after you have the eyes on there this looks pretty cute it's a pretty cute bee so far um we are going to make him a little smiley bee so um i don't think you needed this much yarn this is just how much i cut i pretty much over exaggerated it but you're gonna put it through your little uh, needle thing here um i'm gonna tie it off just because like i'm crazy strong with the uh string so you're going to want to go through the back. I wing it. I wing it really hard. I'm not even going to lie to you. So I'm just going to put it through wherever it looks okay. And then um, we're just going to kind of match on the other side. So maybe there or maybe here. I can't tell yet. But it's okay because if you put it in and you don't like it, you can just take it out. And if it looks a little goofy, I mean, it's homemade. So who cares? Um... Yeah, I think that's okay. And then I'm just gonna go back in through the back and kind of just sew the smile down a little and go right back in where you came out of to hold the yarn down. You see like that? And I'm gonna do the same thing in a couple other spots just so that his smile stays really nice Uh, <laughs> I think my grandma will love it. I don't really like it yet, but I have a feeling that she will just adore this bee. And I never actually have sent anything in the mail before Christmas. I went crazy and crocheted a bunch of stuff for a bunch of people. Oh, see, I really, really don't like that. Yeah, I should have gone lower with that. So we're just gonna find the needle, pull it back out here. And back out again through the other way because I did not like where that was placed. And we're gonna go a little lower, probably like here. All right. No, he looks way cool. Look at, look at that smile. <laughs> okay, so once you have your smile on and your eyes and everything, you're gonna just pull it a little, tighten it up. Like I said, if this was for a kid, um, I would definitely just kind of be wary of that because kids like to pull this kind of stuff apart. But um, so I'm gonna take this off of my needle if I can. There we go. And I'm just going to tie them together. I'm going to double knot them, just a regular, like your tie and shoes. A knot, and then another knot, double knot. Oh, okay, got it. And look at him. He looks so happy. Okay, so um, I'm going to cut the tail. And then I'm also going to cut the loose ends of the smile. And I think he looks, I think he looks a little goofy, but um, like I said, my grandma would probably love this guy. Um, some people add a little pink here, like some blush or something. Um, I'm not going to do that just because, I don't know, I guess I kind of like his bare little face. <laughs> um, Okay, so the next step, we are going to switch colors, and don't be that scared. Um, I know there's like a certain way to do that, but I don't do it that way. Like I said, I'm a beginner. I do it the laziest possible way that I can, and um, I'll show you how I do that. And our next color for the B stripes is going to be this really light pink. Um, I think it'll be really cute, so I'll be right back and we will get into that. 
we are going to switch colors now. You're going to put your hook in here. Get it nice. Take the stitch marker out and put it somewhere you're going to remember it. You're going to pull through the very first one, okay? And then I am going to cut this. Goodbye, teal blue. And I'm going to throw the pink in there where the next teal would have been. And I'm gonna pull it through. And I'll show you once we're done with this next row why the face, this is gonna be the bottom of the face. So now that you have those pulled through, you're going to tie the ends, just double knot them. And um, this is where I said like, you know, some people have a really certain way of doing the colors and it's, you know, the good way to do it. Um, this is just how I do it. I don't know. I, I just have a better time doing it this way. So now that that's done, we're just going to hold the colors down. And we're going to go into the very next stitch, which would be this one. And we're going to do single crochet all the way around again. So that's two, technically. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, grab some more yarn here, what were we on, 14, alright, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30. I'm having a really hard time with this yarn. Um, so usually when you have yarn, you can just pull it out of the end here, like the butt. But um, I tried to do that with this burnout blankie, and my grandma, I swear, my grandma was like, oh, just, just, you know, pull a little bit out of the middle, and you'll find the end eventually. So I pulled and pulled and pulled out of the middle of a burnout blankie yarn ball, or whatever you call these things, and I totally ruined it. I just pulled it all out until there was nothing left I could pull, and I still couldn't find the end. So, needless to say, um, that didn't work out. Thanks, Grandma. Alright, and we are at the beginning again. So, we are going to do two more rows just like this. Single crochet in every one. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to leave you high and dry, but... We've done three rows of just single crochet now. So do two more and leave, come come back to me, pause this video, and come back to me when you're 
at the very last stitch when you just before you go back into the first stitch come back and um, unpause the video because then we're going to do another color change and um, we'll do that together. So the Origami B uh, does three, three stripes and we are only going to do two because this is, like I said, a beginner video and changing colors is not always the easiest or funnest thing to do. So we're just going to do it twice with some fatty stripes. She does like littler stripes. We're going to do fatty stripes. I think it's just cuter that way. But um, so pause this video right now and come back. I will come back to when we are at this point after two rows of doing the next color. Okay, so you are um, right about here. Um, on the very last stitch, this is where I told you on pause. So you did three rows of the next color, uh, one with me and two on your own. Congratulations. Um, now we are going to switch colors again and do another three rows of the very first color. So here we go. We're going to switch colors again. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to go ahead and put your like you're doing a single crochet and stop when you have two on the hook and then we are going to just substitute the pink for the other color and pull that through get your stitch holder oh i had to pull through a little more um hold that first stitch and just keep your hook in there Make sure you don't um, cut the, the yarn that we're going to be, um, you know, uh, crocheting with. Double knot it, just like the last time. One, and two. And then hold that away. We're going to do another row, just single crochet and everything. So there's two. Um, I'm going to get my yarn situated. I'll do this one with you. We'll do it again. Um, we'll do the first row together again, and then I'll leave you to do two more. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I just realized my TV was on. Um, I hope you heard me. But um, anyway, so here we go. And... We're just going to go a little quick because it's pretty easy once you have the base of it done. Um, I know it's a lot. I do it. I did it with these colors just because if I did yellow and black, you wouldn't have really seen much when I did the black stripes with a regular bumblebee. Um, I might do a big bee in another video, like a really big bee. I made... Um, like a pillow sized bee from my mom using these colors but it was a uh, pink and teal not teal and pink but that was really really big it used like a whole bag of stuffing and i did forget to mention when i did the intro to this video that you will need stuffing um or like an old pillow you want to cut open and just use the stuffing for um doesn't really matter i have actual stuffing i used to use pillow stuffing but um, I just got more into the bees and kind of upped my game a little. I also used to make the bees using like a regular, like a thinner yarn um, that I would use like a five mil hook on. But um, after I made like, so I made like 30 of those for people, my friends and family members for like Christmas. And only a couple of them were like, wow, this is so great. Like, thank you so much for making this for me. You know, like everybody else was just like, oh, cool. So um, even though crocheting, like, you know, means a lot to me, it doesn't really mean that much to everybody, I guess. Which sucks because I am a crafter and I love making things for people. I don't think I've ever sold a craft, really. Um, I think I made a sticker one time with my Cricut machine, and I sold it for a couple of bucks. Um, I did that like three or four times, but I mean, out of all the projects I've ever made, and that's the only thing that I've ever sold, I'd say that's pretty good. Like, I don't know. 
I would say I wish that people crafted things for me, but I can't really say that because my mom does that all the time. Um, Grandma, I'm still waiting for that blanket you want to make me anytime. Thanks. All right, so we are at the end here. Um, I'm going to let you do the next two on your own and then come back when we're at this point again and we'll switch colors. I think we have, um, we're going to do one more, this, we're going to do this stripe, this one, and then we're going to switch back over and that'll be the end of the color switching. And then we're going to learn how to do decreases, which um, I'm not too good at, but I'm going to do my best to show you um, just because uh, the bee's got to have a butt, you know? The bee's got to have a butt. And then after we do the decreasing, we're going to make the wings, and then we're going to attach the wings, and then we're going to be pretty much done with the bee. And we also have to stuff it, obviously. But, um, okay, so pause this video, do two more rows, and come back to me when you are done. Okay, so we are at the second to last color change. Um, so we're going to take... that guy out, put it in the first stitch, and begin the single crochet. Take your second color. Oh my gosh, I forgot the TV again. I really hope you guys can hear me because I've got like one shot to film all of this because I'm not making, I'm not taking stitches out just to remake a part of the video. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're gonna take our scissors, cut this old color. We're going to double knot it onto the new color. And now you guys pretty much have, you know, a handle over this. So we're going to do three rows of single crochet with this new color and um, meet me back for the last color change. And then we're going to do some decreases, stuff it, close it up, and add the wings. I We'll see you when you get to the end of the third row of this color. Okay, welcome back to my low budget um, origami bee tutorial. Okay, so you did three rows with the pink. So it's getting a little bigger, so it's going to be harder for me to really start showing you things, but I'm going to do my best. So now we're going to switch colors for the very last time. Uh, let me get situated again. Okay. So this will be the last color change. I'm so happy because I really hate doing this. Okay. Oh, I forgot the TV again. All right. So I'm going to go in to that very first stitch and start the single crochet. I'm going to take the next color and substitute it, pull it through. Now mark that stitch. And I believe I said we're going to do one row of single crochet with this last color, but we're actually, I think we're going to do two. So careful cutting. All right, double knot it. And a single knot, double knot. Okay, so we're gonna do two rows. I'm not gonna count, I'm gonna go a little faster. Just as I, I feel like you guys have got this down now, so. And if you've watched this far, thank you so much. I know this is like really, really um, not the best tutorial. I'll be honest, I've seen better. But I mean, if you've stuck around this long, like, wow, your bee must be looking fantastic. And, um,. You can do this with any sized yarn. Um, obviously, if it's like really chunky yarn, it's going to be a little bigger like this bee is. 
but in the origami pattern you do two rows of the color and then switch the color again so you actually do um, three rows of like the this would be the black you do three of them and then two instead of three rows um, Yeah, but I don't know. I just think they're cuter like this. And like I said, I'm not really that into color changing. So. But here we go. And the more you do this, like the faster you're going to be, obviously. So like I'm not too, too fast, but a lot of people that do these tutorials on YouTube are like, Whoosh, 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 stitch, stitch, stitch. I'm not like that. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna take this time just to talk to you about like my crochet journey and all that. I didn't start that long ago, probably like a year ago. Um, I started out just doing, well, technically I started out doing triangles because I didn't understand how to get like I, I was not good at counting my stitches so everything I did I tried to make squares like patches and stuff and they all came out as triangles so I have a bunch of triangles I don't know what to do with them yet um but then after I did triangles I learned how to do squares and I started doing I made um a cat blanket for my kitty cat and a dog blanket for my dog and then I moved on to scarves, like just simple scarves. Um, but after the scarves, I started doing I started doing um, hats, like uh, beanies and stuff. And then after the beanies is when I really got into the bees. And like I said, like I made way too many bees for my friends and family who didn't didn't completely appreciate them. But it is what it is. And I made them all with love, so everyone should know that if you got a bee from me this year, you are very, very loved. Um what else have I done? I'm starting <clears throat> like a, a summer top that I just started. I actually, I'll probably do like an introduction video or something, you know, because I realize all you know about me is like what I've told you in this one video. But um, yeah, I'll probably do like an introduction video and talk a little bit more about myself. But so far it's just been... Are very basic things. Um, I did do a pretty in-depth um, Among Us character. If you're not familiar with that, it's like a, an app game here. Um, it's probably in other countries too, but um, I live in America. I'm in Chicago. So that game's pretty big with me and my friends, and my little cousin, I guess, really likes that game too. So I made him instead of a bee, because it's kind of girly to make a bee. And after making so many of them, I just got bored. So I made my cousin Nathan a green Among Us character, and that was a really fun project. Um, I don't know why I only made one, but, you know, it, it came out okay. Uh, one leg was bigger than the other, and the face, I guess, the helmet that they wear came out a little wonky. That's okay. Um... And then for my co-worker, Orlando, I made a Charmander. Um, it was another origami pattern that I followed along with a YouTuber. And most of, most of what I do, I follow along with YouTubers and stuff. Um, I did get a book, a book of uh, origami patterns that I do want to try. I haven't gotten around to it yet because I have been working on a 2021 temperature blanket. And a temperature blanket is basically you do one row every day depending on what the weather is. So if it's like 
really really cold you do dark purple if it's just kind of cold it's like light purple and you know in the summertime if it's hot you do like red and if it's like not hot hot but pretty hot like orange in the springtime there's like pinks and blues and I don't know it's only January 26th I believe it is today um I probably won't post this today um who knows maybe I will but that's going pretty well I actually fell a week behind so I had to do seven rows and I only ended up doing like four or five of them so I'm really just catching up at this point with that but um I'll show that to you guys in the introduction video as well okay so now that we've got the two rows of this lash color I am going to start decreasing and I'm going to decrease in the same pattern that we did increasing except for just like opposite so I'm gonna do four single crochets in one stitch and then I'm gonna do a decrease and I'll show you how to do that so let's start with our four single crochets all right so put it back in your first stitch for one single crochet and put that stitch marker back in we're gonna do two single crochet three single crochet and four single crochet now for a decrease you are going to go into that first so instead of going into both of these loops here you're just going to go into the first one and then the first one again on the next stitch and then you're just going to go like you're doing a single crochet into those stitches like so okay so that was your first decrease now you're gonna do four single crochets again so one two three four and then you're gonna do another decrease so going to that very first loop and then again in the next stitch the very first loop and then pull through you're gonna yarn over and pull through those and then yarn over again and pull through that like a single crochet and then do another four so one two three and four and then you're gonna do another decrease so in that first loop and then the next first loop yarn over and pull through both of those and then just finish off like that and then do another four singles so one two three and four and then we're gonna do another decrease so the very first loop the very first loop and then pull through yarn over and pull through both of those and then finish off like a single crochet and then four more one two three and four I'm gonna do another decrease so in the very first loop the next very first loop you yarn over and pull through those two and then finish off the single crochet get more yarn here and then we're gonna do four more single crochets so one, two, three, and four. And then you are going to decrease it again. 
And so I must stop somewhere because you are supposed to, supposed to end up with the last stitch being another um, decrease stitch, but that obviously didn't happen for me. So I'm just gonna put a single crochet in there. And now on the next row of decreasing, we're gonna do three single crochets and then a decrease. So we'll go into that first stitch and do one single crochet, put the stitch holder back in. I'm gonna do two single crochets, three, and then again, we're going to decrease into that very first one on the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through those decreased stitches, and then finish off the single crochet, and then do three more single crochets. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna do another decrease if I can get it. Okay, so first loop and second loop, yarn over, pull through those two, then finish off the single crochet. I need more yarn here. Okay, and another three single crochets, one, two, and three, and then another decrease. So going through the first loop on the next two, the very front loop, and another front loop, yarn over, pull through those two, and then finish the single crochet. And then we're gonna do another three single crochets. So one, two, three, and then a decrease. So first one, the second one, yarn over. Pull through those two, finish off the single crochet, then three single crochets, one, two, three, and then we're going to do another decrease, yarn over, pull through those two, finish off the single crochet. Do three single crochets, one, two, three, and then another decrease, yarn over, pull it through those two, finish off the single crochet, and that decrease, and then the last single crochet because I messed up somewhere. All right. And then in this next one, we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease. So, let me get a, a lot of yarn so that maybe I won't have to be so annoying having to get yarn all the time. And now that I'm halfway done with this um, thing of yarn, I can see where the end of this, if I would have pulled it through, would have been. Um, thanks, Grandma, again, for that helpful, helpful tip. So, one, one single crochet. Two single crochet. And a decrease. Yarn over, pull through both, finish off that single crochet, then one single crochet, two single crochet, and then a decrease, and 
yarn over, pull through both. Let me finish off that single crochet, decrease. Another one single crochet, two single crochet, and another decrease. So one, two, yarn over, pull through both, finish off that stitch, and then one single crochet, two single crochet, another decrease. So by now you can probably tell that your B is starting to close itself up, which is good. That is what we are trying to do with the decreases. So one single crochet, two single crochet, and then <clears throat> another decrease. Okay, yarn over, pull through both, finish off that stitch. Then another one single crochet, two single crochet, and another decrease. Yarn over, pull through both decreases, finish off that stitch, and on the last single crochet. So now we are going to do one single crochet and then an immediate decrease. So go ahead and take your stitch marker out, do one single crochet, one, put the stitch marker back in, and then a decrease. Pull through both, finish off that stitch, single crochet, decrease stitch, finish it off, and then a single crochet, decrease stitch, single crochet, decrease stitch, Pull through both, finish it off, and then single crochet, decrease stitch, yarn over, pull through both, finish that one off, single crochet, And then another decrease stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then the last single crochet. And now, now that you have it like this, we are going to go ahead and put a stitch marker in here, and we are going to just, now you the stitch marker will be able to um, hold that too, so like that. So now it's pretty much um, a little smaller, so just enough to get your hand in there. Um, go ahead, take the stuffing that you have and just stuff up the bee. Right now it's it can lay flat and everything. Um, it doesn't matter how much stuffing you use, um, you just want it to be a nice plushy bee. So, Whatever your plush desires need, that's how much stuffing you will use. And um, you don't want to overstuff it because then when we go to sew on the wings, you're just going to be pulling stuffing out. So go ahead, stuff your bee, and I will be right back with my bee stuffed as well. Okay, I had to change positions because the bee got too big. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is, um, oh my gosh, what did I mess up here? Oh no, 
All right, I'm gonna go back in, starting from there. Good thing, cause that looks like an easy fix. So, by now it's just, um, if you mess up, just, just wing it, you know? Does not have to be perfect. Well, like I said earlier, uh, my grandma says that it's okay if you mess up, cause that means that it was handmade. Um, okay. So, now with the bee stuffed, you are going to do decreases in every single one. Um, let me see if I can change positions here, maybe make it a little easier to see. So you're going to decrease and do just decrease, decrease, decrease until you get all the way around. So let's take this out. Do a decrease stitch. Put that back in so you know where you left off. And now you are going to just, it gets a little harder once it's stuffed, but you're just going to decrease in every single one of them until you get back around. This is another reason you shouldn't uh, overstuff it, which I think I did a little bit. Whatever. Okay. Alright, I just have to move so that I can sit down. Um, can't tell if you can see this anymore. Hopefully you can. <laughs> Alright. Decrease. Finish off that decrease stitch. Oh, that's what's making it so hard. I'm sitting on the yarn. Okay, that should be about good, about where you need to see me. Sorry if you can hear my neighbors, they're freaking got their TV on so loud, louder than mine was. Okay, and we're at the last couple of decreases now. Okay. Okay. And I am on the last decrease because that last one is going to have to be a single crochet. Okay, and then the last one. Just a regular single crochet. Okay, so now you are going to cut a pretty long tail, longish, um, about that long. You're going to do a little, just pull that through that little guy, little pull. Now you are going to take the end of the tail and put it through the needle. And we are going to go where we were doing the decrease stitch is where you want to do this, sew this um, needle into the B. So you don't need this stitch marker anymore. We are pretty much done with the body of the B. Okay, so it's going to go through here. And the next one, again. Then, oh, that's not the next one. The next, next one. And again in the next one. All the way until you just kind of get back to where you were. Okay, now you're going to pull that through. Then 
then we're just going to make a knot. Now, knot the end of the needle as well because we are just going to hide the tail of this instead of just cutting it off. So just go ahead, put it anywhere pretty close to that circle and just come out anywhere. Looks like a good spot. Now hold down, because like I said, if you overstuffed it like I did, your stuffing is going to just come right out. And then go ahead, put it through the same spot that you did and come out anywhere on the other side. It might take a little finessing. And then just go around the bee. Okay. Oof. And then once you've gone around a couple times, it should be okay to just go ahead and cut this guy as close as you can get it. Okay, and now we have here. Now we have the body of the bee. You can just, um, you know, pat it around, roll it around, get the stuffing where it needs to be. And that will be the body of the bee. Okay, so next we're going to take our white yarn and we're going to make the wings. So, you know, get super excited about your bee, take a couple pictures, show it off, and I will be right back to start the wings. Okay, so we are going to be making the wings. I'm only going to do one with you because um, it's really just the same thing for both. So if you remember how we did the magic circle, we're going to be doing one of those. So wrap it around and then around again. Hold on, I did that wrong. <laughs> Around and then over like an X. I'm gonna come under, pull that one and twist, and then pull a little bit of yarn through. Having a little trouble here. And there we go. All right, so there's your magic circle. We, just like the beginning of the bee, are going to put six single crochets into the magic circle. So let's go ahead. This is one. Two, three, four. five and six okay so you just want to go ahead and count that so that's one two three four five six we're going to go back into that very first one right there and the tail is okay we're going to close it up and we're going to put two single crochets into that very first stitch so one and then stitch marker that first one and then that very same stitch sometimes it's harder to see with um white okay two All right, two, and then two in the next one, 
one, two. And then two in the next one. One. Two. 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 Two in the very last one. One. Two. Okay, now find the tail and just close off the circle. Now you're going to do one single and then two singles. So here's one single on that very first stitch. The stitch marker back in. Get me enough yarn to finish this row. And then in the next one, I'm going to do two. So one, two, and then a single, one. Then two singles, one, two, then one single, one, two singles, one, two, a single, One, and then two singles. One, two. Again, if you can hear my neighbors, I'm sorry. Like I said, a low budget film. Okay, so two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay. One. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. And then technically we are done with the wing at this point, but I'm gonna put one more single crochet into this very first stitch, just so that I have like a, an edge for the bottom of it. So there we go. And then you are going to cut yourself a tail nice and, you know, good and long. So that you can sew this onto the B, and then you're gonna make a slip stitch, pull it all the way through, and just tie it down. And then with this tail, oh, whoops, I just broke it, whatever. Um, I'm sure it's no biggie, but now that hole is nice and tight. Um, 
So this will be your wing. Make another one of these and I will show you how to sew them onto the bee. And like I said, the tail should be graciously long just so that we have enough to sew with. So make another one of these and we will sew them onto the bee and then the bee will be done. Okay, we are on the last part of the bee. So you've got your wings here like this. Um, you're just going to want to guesstimate, like, look in the middle of the bee, put it in the middle of the stripes. So, uh, that looks about good, and, oh, I forgot to cut the tail on this one. Okay, so, that looks about good, like that. So, you're going to take the end of the tail and put it through the needle. All right. And you're just gonna go in and out and in and out like, like this, around. Can you see? Around and around like this. Going through the bee, through the wing, through the bee, through the wing, through the bee, through the wing, until you're satisfied with you know, how it is. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just go through the B first. And then through one of the lower stitches of the wing, go through, and then through the B. Then through the wing, And you're just going to want to go ahead and move side to side from back to front a couple of times until you're pretty satisfied with how tight the wing is on your bee. And you don't have to use the whole... Oh, you don't have to use the whole tail to sew it on. Um, I do sometimes. I'm not going to do it this time because I made her an awkwardly long tail. But um, just the B, the wing, the B, the wing. And then once it's on, however, you know, good you want it to be on, just tie, just knot the tail and knot it right here. Just any which way so that it's um, secure. And then I'm just gonna knot it one more time. So I made like I think I tied it like four times there. Cut the tail off. There's your first wing. And then your second one, you're gonna do the same thing. So go ahead, get it through the needle. Get it positioned where you want it. And then go through. The B. Oh, you know what? I don't like where that one ended up. And I just pulled it out the whole thing. Totally fine. Totally fixable. I'm going to go ahead and redo that one. And I'm going to put it as close to the other wing as I can possibly get. Um, 
Okay. Can you still see me? All right. And then through the wing. Then through the bee again. And then through the wing. Through the body of the bee. Through the wing. Through the body. Through the wing. And then again through the body. Oh, body. Then the wing. The body. And then just a couple more times. This is probably the easiest part. Okay. And then, oh, sorry. Okay, um, sorry about that. And then you're going to tie it through for the very last time. There's my one knot. And then I think I'm only going to do two on this wing. Because this wing, I mean, I went pretty hard in the freaking paint with these knots. So, now oh, maybe one more won't hurt. Okay, and cut it, and then you have your bee. Super cute, super easy. I hope you guys had fun with me. Um, the wings kind of flop around a little, but that's okay. Like I said, homemade beginner. This is a pretty darn good bee. Alright, so I'm going to put this video together and see if I can't upload it today, but um, I'm going to send this bad boy, I think, to my grandma, because she would really appreciate this. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and um, good luck on your crochet journey.